So the Warriors beat down the Nets on the Nets' home floor. Curry shines. Durant, will he receive the same criticism as another player would have if he had gotten beaten down by Steph Curry by 18 points? This is Ross Status TV. We are back. The Ross Status IG and Twitter. Find us, follow us, friend us, like us, subscribe, comment, and share. So that's the question. Will the corporate agenda-driven media, will they assassinate the character of Kevin Durant for this inept performance and series of performances ever since he's been with the Nets the way that they do LBJ? And I'm not necessarily going in on Durant. But watch what's going to happen. They're going to blame Kyrie Irving, the man that won't take that concoction. They're going to blame him. And they're going to let Durant off the hook like they always do. Is it safe to say that the Nets experiment with Durant and them hasn't worked? Is James Harden even a real player now that the rules are changed and he can't flop and fake fouls? The Nets aren't winning the championship this year. The Warriors 12 and 2 are the Warriors for real. Is 14 games enough? For you to believe that Steph Curry and a bunch of ragtag players. It is impressive the way they're playing even without Klay Thompson. It's almost like Steph Curry has that added confidence knowing that Thompson may be back this year. But let me know what you think. Are the Warriors for real? Should the Nets start looking at trades and rebuilding that team? I mean, you have two pieces in Harden and Durant, but... Two guys that really do are really more one, maybe two dimensional. I mean, when's the last time Harden has won anything? When has Durant won anything without Curry? Last night you saw why Durant has rings. It was because of that dude, the light skinned dude that hits a lot of threes. So right now, love him or hate him, you, you have to give Steph Curry his props. But again, I want to see how the media treats this, because this is a big deal. So it'll be interesting to see throughout the morning and the day, the caping and the excuse making. Are they going to go back to, well, Kevin Durant had his toe on the line or they would have went to the finals. So I can't wait to see the excuses for Kevin Durant. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments in the box, Raw Status TV.